Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Freedom Essay. Uh, you have already written your introduction. You have written your first body paragraph. And in that first body paragraph, you used FDR's for freedom speech as um, as a source in order to bolster your claim, whether you're choosing to say that, you know, one person can defend the rights of all people, or you chose the other one, which was what it takes to be free. FDR certainly gives us examples of both. Um, I mean, he actually literally listed out four freedoms, right? So that's what you spoke about in your, and your first body paragraph, good. Now today we're gonna to be writing our second body paragraph. And just like yesterday, there is absolutely nothing to worry about or fear because you have already done most of the work already in the form of citations and annotations when we we read John F. Kennedy's inaugural address. So let's take a look at this, please. I'm going to present to you, as I always do, the worksheet that I have created. Now, if you follow this worksheet step by step, your body paragraph is going to be very well done. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be perfect because, of course, after you do these things, then you have to go back over and edit it, make sure it is grammatically correct, syntax is correct, all the spelling and you know your punctuation is correct, but we'll do that after we write it. Let's first get the quote in there. Let's make sure we quote start it. Let's make sure we quote finish it. So what would we do? Let's take a look at this. Second body paragraph. So this is where you use your best quote from the second major source we read this unit, which was, of course, JFK's inaugural address to support your thesis. Example, your unit two essays describe how one person can defend the rights of all people. Now's the time to give the best quote from JFK that supports your answer to this question. So first thing you should do, take two or three sentences to do this. Explain who JFK was and what he stood for, what he believed in regarding freedom. So you go back through your notes and you will see, and it was very similar to FDR. And you can even comment on that. JFK, you might start off this by saying, JFK was an American president during blah, 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 who really understood and fought for people's freedom. In fact, he was a lot like FDR because he understood that in order to be free, you needed to stand up against dictators and against bully nations. And you needed to defend other people around you. And you needed to, to build up your military and you, and you needed to stand strong. Um, he, he had a couple of differences from FDR and that will be for you to talk about now. So talk about again, number one, two or three sentences. Who was JFK and what did he believe in regarding freedom? Done. Number two, then explain that JFK is another great example of a person work who works to defend the rights of all people who understood what it took to be free. Kind of like what we did for FDR, but now you're using JFK. All right, another great example. I would say it like this. JFK provides another incredibly important example of somebody who understood what it took to be free or somebody who understood that you had to work to fight for the rights of people who couldn't fight for themselves. Good. So that's one or two sentences. Once you have step one done and step two done, you already have four sentences. So you've talked about JFK, what he believes in and freedom. And then you explain that JFK is a great example of somebody who fights for freedom, right? Then number three, let's give a quote. So consider the following quote from JFK's inaugural address and then give that quote. And then once you're done with that, clearly you're going to cite it correctly in parentheses. You'll put inaugural address or the page number we found it from, close the parentheses, put a period. And then of course you say, this quote clearly shows that JFK understood blank. And then <clears throat> redefine what it is that he said in your own terms. He understood this. And then of course you finish off with our last thing. This is important because it provides us with another fantastic example of somebody who had the courage to stand up against evil and against tyranny, something like that. And then you're done. So again, five steps for this paragraph. First thing, Explain who JFK was and that he was a freedom fighter. Boom, two or three sentences. Two, explain that JFK is a perfect example to give for this because he understood so well what it was to fight for freedom. Boom, then give your quote. Consider the following quote from the, from the, from the speech. Then explain that quote. This quote clearly shows. And then finish it off with this is important because. And once you have that done, which should take you about 20 or 30 minutes, you're done with body paragraph number two. But remember what I said, once you're done with those five steps, don't just hand it in and be done with it. Go over it several times. Is your punctuation correct? Is everything spelled correctly? Make sure you don't have any little singular eyes. Make sure you don't have you know extra spaces between sentences. Make sure your citation is correct. You know how to do that now. Um, make sure your annotations are there. Make sure you have finishing statements and have a great day. You are done with paragraph number two once you're done with this. Body paragraph number two. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.